So, just more practice on distribution, but with a little larger, okay, than the binomial times binomial. So, same thing here. There's, think about it this way. There's three terms in the first parentheses. There's two terms in the second parentheses. If you multiply a three by two, you're gonna get six. So there should be six terms in your fine your next step. Not the final answer, but your next step. So watch where they come from. One, two, three, four. Sorry, no. I didn't need to clean that up again. Usually I put the x in front. So the two x squared. One, two, three, all to the F, and then one, two, three, all to the negative four. So the X times everything, the negative four times everything. Or the two X squared by both, the five X by both, the nine by both. It doesn't matter which way you think about it. Two by three, three by two. So I'm gonna start with the top. Two X squared times X to the one. That's gonna be two X to the three. Now I'm going to do 5x times x, 5x squared. And now I'm going to do 9 times x, 9x. There's the first three terms multiplied by x. Now I'm going to take those same three terms in this trinomial times negative 4. So negative 8, the x squared tags along. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, the x tags along, minus 36. <laughs> Look how many terms we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we should have on the second or the first step. Second step if you count the original as the first. Now, combine like terms, descending order, standard form. I have a cube right here, so it's two x cubed. X squared, I have five minus eight minus three x squared. X's, 9 minus 20, okay? So 9 minus 20 is negative 11 X. And then the negative 36. So this gets reduced down to one, two, three, four terms from six. Down to this one right here. So this time there's binomials in front. No big deal. 4x here, 4x there, 4x there. Negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. 4 times 2 is 8. x1, x4, x5. Four times three is twelve. X1, X2, X3. Four times negative five is negative 20 and the X just tags along. Now the negative three times everything. Negative three times two, negative six. X4 tags along. Negative three times three, negative nine. The X squared tags along. Negative three times negative five, positive 15. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six terms. I'm good to go. The first term has nobody to play with, so it's just a x to the five. Okay, now I have a four here, so minus six x to the fourth. There was no other fourths to play with. That's done. Thirds, well, I only have one of those. Twelve x cubed. Squares, again, I only have one of those. 9x squared. I only have one x, negative 20x, and I only have one constant. So I still ended up with six terms. But that is in standard form, descending order. <coughs> A 
Okay, so now for the big event, we're going to do a three by three. So we're going to have how many terms in the final the third next step? Nine. Three by three. Three times three. So we're going to do two y squared here, here, and here. In fact, it's going to be so big, let's just do that one first. So 2y squared times 3y squared will be 6y to the 4. 2 times negative 5, negative 10. y2, y1, y3. 2 times 2 is 4, y squared times 1. Now, we're going to take the 3y times everything. So here, here, and here. So 3y times 3y squared, first off, 3 times 3 is 9, y1, y2, y3. Now the 3y times negative 5y, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. y1, y1, y2. Now the 3y times 2 is simply 6y. Will we be able to fit it? Let's see. Now the negative 1 times everything, which is easy, it's just take the opposite. So 3y squared becomes negative 3y squared, negative 5y becomes plus 5y, and 2 becomes negative 2, and it's just fine. Now the cleanup. And do it, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, everything went white. So I only have one 4. 6y to the 4. Bam. Now, 3s. I have negative 10 plus 9. That's negative 1. Y cubed. You don't have to put the 1 if you don't want to. Squared. Be careful. I actually have three of those. I have this one, this one, and this one. So I have 4 minus 3, which is 1, minus 15, which is negative 14 y squared. Once I'm done with them, I'm going to cross them out so I can clearly see what's left. Now my y's, I have 6y and 5y. That gives me 11y. And 2 is by itself. And we simplify that down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms out of 9. Okay, real life. Revenue in a business, if you ever try to own your own business, revenue is price times number. So, price of CDs, here's the formula. It's given to you. Where T is the number of years since 1990. So, however many years past 90, you put that in there. The number of CDs sold is right here. Now remember, revenue is price times number. All right? So find the equation for revenue. Well, that would be price negative 0.21t plus 4.61 times 16t plus 301. So that would be the equation. Okay, you take both of them times each other. Now, what was the revenue after 10 years? <coughs> well, we want to plug in a 10 here and here. And then we're going to multiply. So negative 0.21 times 10 plus 4.61 times 16 times 10. So, 
10 times x moves to that goal. So that's negative 2.1 plus 4.61. 16 times 10 is 160, plus 301 is going to be a 164, 461. And then 4.61 minus 2.1 is 2.51 times 461. So that gives us Eleven hundred fifty-seven dollars and eleven cents. Yes. And last but not least, well, almost last but not least, here is a formula for perimeter. It's two times the length plus two times the width. All right. Well, doesn't matter which one you call length or width. Here's length. Here's width. So perimeter is two times x minus four plus two times two x squared minus three x plus five. So you distribute the two. Two x minus eight plus distribute the two. Four x squared minus six x plus five. So perimeter is equal to I have my 4x squared first, 2x minus 6x is negative 4x, and negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. There is my formula. Oh, no it isn't, because look what I did. I forgot to multiply 2 times 5. That should be 10. 10 minus 8 is positive 2. I drew the arrow and didn't multiply. Now, last but not least, use the area formula to find the area of the rectangle. Well, again, same thing. Area is length times width. We talked about this before. So we're going to take the x minus 4 times 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. Distribute the x. So 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x. Distribute the negative 4. Negative 8x squared. Negative 12x. Negative 20. We have plus 12x. So negative times negative. Alright. What's my cube? Only 2x cubed. Squared, three x negative three, negative eight, negative eleven x squared. Five x plus twelve x, seventeen x minus twenty is all that's left. So that's my area formula. Yeah. 